Okay, so I'm wearing my pajamas today because I'm on my period and I really don't want to dress up just to film a video. Although I have my makeup on. That's something. <laughs> So it's um, so it's 11 in the morning and it's really dark today and I, I cannot do anything about it so I hope this video doesn't come out as really dark. Uh, so anyway, I initially wore this because I was cold last night but now I feel kinda hot and I don't know what to do so I may do this. Yeah, you don't need to see this. Anyway, here I am. In this video, I want to talk about my September favorites. This includes things, movies, stuff. This this type of video is kind of old. I'm like six years late to this trend, but oh well, I don't have anything else to do today and I decided to share this with you because October is right around the corner and I just want to review everything that I like this month. Oh, shit. So I even have my list here with things. This is how professional I am. So some of the stuff I'm gonna show you today are new and some of them are old but I kind of started using them a lot lately and really enjoying them so this is why they are included in this list and also some of them were gifted to me and some of them I just bought them. We're gonna start off with the physical stuff first and I'm just gonna include this first and foremost it's this cape which I, I will wear it so you can see it better <laughs> this cape is by Costurero Real uh, it's a Spain based brand that makes ethical cute stuff for cosplaying especially and like if you wanna wear this cape and go outside be my guest but yeah it's really great for photography especially and costumes and being other characters especially from fantasy worlds like Lord of the Rings and this kind of stuff so this is the cape they kindly gifted this to me and I'm in love I've been taking so many photos with it okay I'm not gonna wear it now it's really really warm but yeah I love it so shout out to them and the second thingy I'm gonna show you is from the same uh, brand as well is this uh, Emperor Moth headpiece. It's really really cute. You can put it in your hair and just put the wooden piece to tie it together like this. And it's just so cute. I have an obsession with moths and Emperor moths, so yeah, <laughs> can you tell? So next on the list are some some jewelry from an Etsy shop called Wasteria Real. I will link these below if you're interested. The first one is this cute necklace, this dome necklace. It has a lot of stuff taken from nature. Uh, it also has um, uh, a skull of a rat that comes from owl pellet. So this is ethically collected and it's so, so cute. I absolutely love it. And the second thing that I really, really love from Wisteria Realms shop are these earrings. They are guitar peak earrings and honestly, hear me out. I'm not an earring person. I used to be back in high school, then I became a ring person and now I am more, more like a choker person. I never was a bracelet person, I don't know. Bracelet people, I'm sorry. These earrings, these earrings are so so good. I Thank you very much, Wasteria Real. And now we're off to the, to the next thing on my list, which is a dress that was gifted to me by a really cool, witchy, ethical shop uh, called Cosmic Drifters. I'm gonna list it below as well. It's this witchy dress. It's so pretty. It's so me. Like, look at it. It's just. 
I absolutely love this pattern, this print and the fabric is just so soft and it's, it hugs your body and yeah, I absolutely love it and especially now that the weather becomes colder I can wear it and do some layering with it because I love layering so yeah, I really really love this one another thing I loved using this month were two blouses that I found them in my mom's closet and they belong to my grandma here, let me grab them <laughs> so the first one is this one that I absolutely love just because this side of the uh, shoulder has these cute little leaves and it's so fairy-like it's like you're a nymph but in a more modern outfit <laughs> and it's just so great I, I really love wearing it the next one is the same it's a vintage blouse it belongs to my grandma. I don't know if you can see it because I tried to make this as bright as I could but it has a lot of vintage designs here. It has a cute pattern and again, whoa, what happened here with the sleeve? <laughs> and again, the fabric is so soft. It's, it's like satin. Both of these are like satin but not quite it. It's weird. It's, it's not satin but it feels like satin. But it's not. Yeah. <laughs> so the next thing that I'm starting to wear these days and I will absolutely love it is a pair of pants I thrifted while I was in Scotland in Aberdeen. One morning I randomly woke up early and I had like three hours before going to my shift and so I went on at the city center and started strolling around uh, thrift stores. That was before Covid. It, it's, it sounds like a fever dream now, honestly, now that I'm in Greece, like even thinking myself going for thrifting in Scotland like a year ago from now. Wow. Um, well, I don't have it here. Let me fetch it. <laughs> okay, here is the p -p 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 pants. It's honestly the best pair of pants I own. The most fitting pair of pants that I got are from thrift stores, like seriously these fit so so well when I saw it I was like there's no way I'm gonna fit in here but it was just magic just like Hermione's purse in Harry Potter like the seventh book that you could put so many stuff in it and then your hand would go like ugh I shit you not I gained 10 kilos during quarantine and they still fit perfectly like nothing happened so yeah I'm still trying to lose all the weight I gained during quarantine but again I'm not rushing because I really like that my booty is kind of thick now uh, so this will bring me to this to the next thing that I have been loving which is <laughs> these resistance bands I've been letting Chloe Ting torture me for the past few months I, I haven't been working out for like a week now I really need to start doing it but this resistance band help me so much because I'm doing some booty exercises and yeah, it's great. In the future if I want to do more specific ones and spicier ones I will need to invest in a more professional resistant band but for now they're working just fine. Okay, another thing I've been loving this month is okay this is a self plug <laughs> I'm gonna self plug my Etsy shop right now the Moonlit Parkosm I'm gonna link it below. Is this book of shadows I crafted it's let me show you it has 36 pages and they are all hand dyed with coffee and different types of tea mostly hibiscus tea this is so bright you can't actually see but these are vintage looking and they also they smell they have a very strong coffee smell and each page is completely different from the other and this is really homemade to the core here you can see I have this pattern inside and then this is a design I made myself <laughs> and another thing I wanna apply I made four four <laughs> cute notebooks they are autumn themed Halloween -y themed the first one is this 
I kind of took the same design that's inside here because I really like it and then there is this one and this one and this one uh, some of these are covered with a sheer plastic I will cover these two as well uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I again want to prevent any water damage because these are printed at my house by myself with my printer <laughs> homebrew homemade and they're really really cute everything is designed by me so, so yeah, enough with the self plug, let's continue with this video. Okay, so now I'm gonna stop talking about physical stuff, materialistic stuff. Now we're going to the movies and series category. These are stuff that I'm watching almost every fall, like religiously at this point. Some of these I've already watched and some of these are planning to watch. I'm just gonna mention the major movies and series that remind me of fall. So these are stuff I watch every time autumn comes, September comes, especially October, because they're these most of these are kind of Halloween-y. So of course the first series I'm gonna mention is Over the Garden Wall. I'm not gonna say why, I'm sure you've watched it. And now it's a perfect time to re-watch it. I haven't done it yet. I did it last year while I was in Scotland. So I'm really hyped to do it again because I don't know about you, but um, when I'm watching a movie, a series, or even listening to a song, I can remember the last time I did it and sort of relive that moment. So not only I'm watching or listening to something because I like it and I enjoyed it, but also because it reminds me of that past time of my life and yeah sometimes it's happy and sometimes it's sad but these movies bring me joy all the time so yeah over the garden wall it brings me joy every time <clears throat> and i really need to mm, hydrate myself because my voice is dying the, the first time i watched this series it was back in 2016 and i remember being sick and i skipped university that week and it was Really good. I was laying in my bed with my blanket, <laughs> eating my soup, and I stumbled upon this animation, and I was like, wow, this looks hella cute, and I, and I put one episode, and I was hooked for the next few hours, I've watched all the episodes, and then I re-watched them with my mom, my friends, everyone, I literally I showed this animation to everybody, because it's, it's the best, we, we really don't deserve this animation. <laughs> Okay, so the next series I'm gonna mention is, it's not quite autumnal, but to me it is because every time when autumn comes, I rewatch How I Met Your Mother, and it's just a wholesome and fun series, lighthearted, and if you're having a bad day, it's the great remedy. So another series I'm gonna add because of the mood is Dexter. We all love psycho killers. No, this sounded way, way wrong. <laughs> but we all love series and movies and documentaries about psycho killers, serial killers, things like that. I, uh, especially near um, autumn because of Halloween, you know, Friday the 13th, like Nightmare on Elm Street, this type of vibe, this classic. And Dexter is really great, I really love this series. I've watched it two times, like the whole thing, and I'm definitely gonna rewatch it sometime in the future. But it will always remind me of September and October. The next series I'm gonna mention is Stranger Things, which is self explanatory why I'm adding it to the list. I've been re watching it with my friends on Discord these past few weeks. It was like my third time re watching it or something, apart from the last season, which was my favorite. Which season of Stranger Things Stranger Things was your favorite? Comment down below and let me know. And also Supernatural, which I've only watched once. I wanted to rewatch it for so long now because it reminds me of a very very happy time in my life. But also it reminds me of my first sleep paralysis because the first time I had sleep paralysis I saw the demon from Supernatural, the one with the yellow eyes. And I hate people who say, oh, I want to do experience sleep paralysis for once. I really want to see how it is. No, you don't. I used to say this and I was stupid stupid little girl uh so yeah supernatural i really wanna rewatch it 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm now I'm now remembering all the sleep paralysis experiences I had and I should make a separate video with all these. Like, let me know if you want to hear any of these because it's terrifying. Urgh. Now we're gonna go to the movies and of course I'm gonna go out and add some Studio Ghibli, Ghibli, Jujujube, I don't know how it's called. I'm gonna say Kiki's Delivery Service because it's about a witch and her cat and flying on a broom, but yeah. But yeah, I usually watch these around Halloween, but also really like to add Spirited Away just because it has this wholesome, I don't know, autumn, if you had to describe it with words you would add like comfy, wholesome, and this is what Spirited Away is and most of Miyazaki's movies are, so this is why I'm adding them to the list. Okay, another movie I'm gonna add is Coraline, which I recently rewatched, and I, I've been watching it around this time of the year, just like Tim Burton movies as well, although I've watched Tim Burton movies all around the year, all the time, that recently I just want to connect Autumn with other types of movies and series, so this is why I'm not gonna add Tim Burton movies, but I know that I'm gonna watch some of these eventually if I don't have anything else to watch, because they're still very great. And lastly, I'm gonna add Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings marathons. This is the greatest time of the year to do it, or maybe even in the winter. Uh, we've already did a Harry Potter marathon with my friends back in summer. <laughs> So we're planning to do a Lord of the Rings one and I can't wait. Uh, we're just waiting for the weather to become a bit more gloomier <laughs> to start doing it because it's still kind of warm and sunny and we, we don't want that. <laughs> so yeah, and the last section I'm gonna add, it's a, it's a small section, are video games. And first of all, I'm gonna add Undertale because I played this game two years ago, yeah. I was really late to the trend and now that I realize it was for the best because when it was really popular I just didn't care about it and so I missed all the spoilers, the potential spoilers and I had no idea what's happening in the game. The reason I, st I wanted to play it back in 2018 was because of what is happening with, with the tongue twist today? Wow. Yeah, the reason I wanted to play it was because of Spooktober and I was watching so many memes with Sans and I was like, okay, let's give this, this game a go. And I was hooked. Yeah, I enjoyed myself. It gives me these comfy, wholesome vibes and I'm gonna add it there. The next game I'm gonna add is Don't Starve Together. Uh, so basically you and your friends, you're trying to survive its day and you have to find stuff, feed yourself, keep you in the light because the darkness will eat you at night and also build your base and your crops and things like that. Kinda cottagecore vibes there. So the difficulty of this game is depending on the seasons. To me, my favorite season of the game is Autumn. It has really lovely music, it's really pretty, and also it's the easiest one. <laughs> Come on, I'm not, I'm not the best at video games, so I love it. I go around and just pick flowers and seeds and things like that. <laughs> yeah, the seasons I really hate from this game are summer because everything is starting to burn and winter because it's really cold and you have to build stuff to warm yourself and they're very, very weird. Uh, encounters like a monster that can literally come fuck you up fuck your base up and everything and you have to restart the game because there's no point into like trying to fix that so yeah i really like spring spring is also hard it has a lot of rain and a lot of frogs but it's it's better like visually at least but yeah autumn is my favorite season and i really want to start playing this game again hopefully it has a lot of replayability so yeah last game i want to add is an old game is this is a game that literally made me interested in games and that's amnesia the the first game the dark descent not the second one the second one was dog sit sorry <laughs> so i really wanna not replay it because it was stressing me out although i finished it but yeah but I will convince a friend of mine to play it, one who haven't played it before, so that I can see their first reactions to it. And yeah, hopefully rewatch it or just go watch some old PewDiePie videos, I don't know. So yeah, these are my September favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like so that you can let me know in order for me to make more videos in the future. I really forgot how to speak today. Like, I cannot speak English today. That's it. Bye.
thank you so much for watching if you came so far in this video thank you for being here leave a like if you like this video let me know if you want to make more of these like monthly favorites stuff i'm really passionate about all this stuff so i don't mind doing any of these just let me know what you would like to watch and okay i've been talking for so long now and time to sign out bye